DJ Crazy Chris. Hi. Right. My Bino Rhino. Ow, what the fuck? What are you st- Oh, Lego! Oh, what the fuck <laughs> is your Lego? He landed on Lego. Oh, you know what? That's just fucking hilarious. You know what? The problem with Lego is kids love it, but it gets everywhere. There's not a spot in the house. <laughs> he just stepped on this thing and he's bleeding. Oh, There's not, not a spot in the house that, if you have Lego in it, that you're not going to step on Lego. That was awesome. That wasn't even planned. He no. He fucking stepped on Lego. <laughs> How the fuck is there Lego in the man cave first off? Right under the beer table. Right where I sit. <laughs> like my son fucking set me up. Probably the fucking cat. You didn't have food no, for me you yesterday? Know, you remember that video you did with him that you ate their candy? <laughs> That's revenge. He got back. <sighs> Today we're drinking a beer that was sent to us from BC from Steve. So thank you very much, Steve. This is from the... Uh, the Tin Whistle Brewing Company, their chocolate cherry porter. Never had one. Can't wait to have a chocolate beer. So this is 5.7% alcohol by... No, 5.5. Uh, yeah, it was the... Uh, where are we from here? Uh, Penticton, B.C. Oh, there's a, there's another brewery there. Um, the Cannery Brewing Company is there as well. Um, uh, ingredients. Chocolate cherry porter is water, malt, cherries, yeast, dark Belgian chocolate, and hops. So we're actually full on using chocolate. We're not using an extract or anything. All right. What happened to your opener with this? Piece of nail and stick. Did you throw that thing No, what's over there? Oh, okay. I have a whole bucket of openers. I know. I just like that one because it sucks. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> sucks bad. Sucks balls. It does. I should bring it to work. Oh, sorry guys, it's gonna take me a minute. Oh, I cannot see through this at all. Love it. That's the porter. Alrighty. Yeah, you're right. Black is the black blood of the earth. Little mocha head. Oh, that smells... That smells divine. Oh, it smells awesome. Full on cherries, you're getting like sweet, sweet cherries and you're getting a little bit of tart like black cherry in there. And the dark, the <laughs> dark Belgian chocolate is just coming out. It actually kind of reminds me of, uh, it kind of smells like the cherry blasters, the little cherry chocolates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Or no, cherry blossoms, that's what they were called, right? Cherry blasters are the candy. Cherry blossoms mm -hmm. were the... Yeah, the sour, the sour cherries are the cherry blasters. This also, it smells like, um... Like a box of Belgian chocolates. Like, you know, when you get those assorted boxes of chocolates? And, yeah, that's what you smell. smells awesome. Let's try it. Let's do Cheers. It. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Well, hello, chocolate. I like you. Oh, it's my first chocolate beer. And it's delicious. Well, I know which one's getting the highest review I've ever given. <laughs> this um, is so good. This, the cherries were apparent it's on the so nose. Good. Cherries were apparent on the nose. They're not really all that apparent Ooh. in the taste. I mean, there's a little bit of a taste, but I don't know if that's my mind psychosomatically putting it there or if I'm actually tasting it. I think I'm just going, hey, there's cherries in here. I smelt it, so I'm tasting it. I don't think I'd actually, if this was a blind, that I'd actually taste it. You might. Okay. Well, I get a little bit of that cherry, but... No, you can, you can taste, I can taste the cherry in it, but that chocolate is fantastic. Well, that's what I'm saying, like, the chocolate takes over everything. It does. It's, it's full on, it's sweet, but bitter chocolate at the same time, it's just deep, deep, dark chocolate, and it, it is beautiful, it comes from the beginning, it goes right to the end, a little bit of caramel in there too, from the, from the malts, um, really, your, your back end, your back end bitterness isn't from hops either, it's just that chocolate, it's just this that emanating so chocolate good. taste. This is delicious. Maybe... Actually, you know what? That might be where I'd get the cherries a little bit. Is that just little, like, cherry skin tannin at the very end? Because there is that just zip of bitterness right can, at the very end. Right, yeah, I can I can definitely get the end of that cherry. End of the cherry. I can get the end of the cherry. Not, now, the, not this. Now, as my buddy hey. Paul from PA Brew News says, this is a little thin, but I really don't give a shit. Um, I don't care. I like it. I like it a lot. Light to medium body, a little thinner than I'd expect for uh, a four a porter, but very drinkable regardless. Very tasty. Um, 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. And it's 5.5% alcohol, so you could drink a couple bottles of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you could. Talk about Christmas gifts. Got a spouse who likes chocolate. Guess what? And beer. Give him that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that is, uh... That is fantastic. Let's give it some scores, shall we? Um, I'm going to give it a 9.25 out of 10. I think if it if it was a little heftier, if a little more body was in it, probably a 9.5 or a 9.75. 9.5 for me. I love this. This is so good. Alrighty, now, um, oh. I, I never told you this because I, I like to surprise people when they give something over a 9. But uh, a 9 and ups get each different style of beer has a different dance we have to do for it. Awesome. Great. So this is the porter, this. this is with the porter dance, which is pretty easy, you know. It's just just roll your shoulders a little bit like this, and you're like porter dance, motherfucker. Porter dance, motherfucker. Oh yeah, oh, yeah motherfucker. Thank you guys. Thank it. you, Steve. Bye. Mm. Mm -hmm.